Bienvenue sur la télévision du VideoShare Festival. J'ai le plaisir d'accueillir Andrew Mendoza de la société Inception. So we're going to switch in English. Andrew, Merci. you came for a conference uh, this morning about virtual reality, augmented reality. So could you explain uh, what the company does and uh, uh, why you are here today? Absolutely. Our uh, company was set up a couple of years ago by some uh, Israeli tech entrepreneurs and investors. And the, uh, the guy who set it up was on the Facebook advisory board and saw Oculus before it launched. And uh, so in early 2016, a team uh, set up and the first focus was creating our own VR app, which is a general entertainment app. And that launched in October 2016. That's still going. That's one of the top uh, five um, uh, entertainment apps, non-gaming apps. It's on all the different app stores, and we're now increasingly distributing third-party content. And that's going, uh, that's going steadily, and we may start focusing on a, on a few specific genres and channels. Then the second thing that happened, which was more in 2017, was that companies started asking us to do work for them. Um, because not all companies that who want VR wanted to be uh, on, a, on an entertainment app, for B2B companies. And we also got pulled into uh, augmented reality, um, and we were a closed beta partner of Facebook's AR studio. So that was the second phase, which was setting up uh, an agency where we work with B2B and B2C clients on both uh, VR and AR projects. And the third element of the business, which is in development, is our own destination augmented reality app, which the first focus will be bringing children's books to life. Some reports um, said that uh, augmented reality will have a more um, future than uh, virtual reality. What is your opinion? And is there, a, how do you see a, a augmented reality for, for B2C market? So I, I think that augmented reality uh, n now is uh, more of a focus for many companies because it's the, it's the new thing. And it's been around, say, for six months since the Facebook, Apple, and Android announcements, whereas VR's been around for a couple of years. I think the big difference between virtual reality and augmented reality is the installed base of devices that support augmented reality now is much, much larger than virtual reality. Having said that, to get the best experiences, you still need to have an app. And so um, companies need to figure out whether they're going to uh, augment their existing app with augmented reality or whether they're going to launch a, a new one. I think that over the next few years, uh, as, I, as I said this morning at the panel, we're going to see some um, very, very profound changes in augmented reality. It's only really been going, say, six months. And certainly by 2020, 2021, I think we're going to see um, the, the ability to recognize your surroundings and your location, that that will trigger augmented reality effects. Well, it will start to become pervasive through one's day. So wherever you are in the world, um, it might be a trigger for augmented reality. I think virtual reality will take um, a little more time and is probably going to continue to be for specific B2B uses and will probably take another three or four years before there's a critical mass of, of the next generation devices. So I think that's, uh, I think both businesses have great prospects, but augmented reality is probably on a faster penetration track because of uh, smartphones. Could you give us some example um, about your customers? And is it just for big company or a small one could be also a, a user and, 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 and It's mainly the develop big, some product. It, 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 for, for, from the agency side, um, it's mainly bigger companies. Uh, so it's um, companies like uh, Cisco, who've worked with us on two or three projects now around uh, conferences and events. Um, obviously, the, uh, we've worked with uh, Bacardi Grey Goose, and that's one of the reasons that I'm here, is because um, our VR experience for them is, uh, is in the competition. So it tends to be the bigger companies uh, on the agency side, but on the, um, the VR um, uh, 
destination app, we're increasingly sourcing some fantastic pieces of a work from independent creators. So we're trying to create a home for great VR and 360 content that's, that's created, but struggles to find distribution. So that's probably our strongest link with smaller companies. And do you propose some tools or also some services to help the customer to develop some uh, uh, application? That's a really interesting question. When we, when we started off, we thought that that would be really important and that we might be able to help uh, creators by uh, opening up some tools to enable interactivity. I think that the, thing that we, the main thing that we do is enable them to be on all the different app stores because the specifications for all the different app stores are a little different. Um, but r right now, we're not supporting them with extra services. There's a, it's, a, it's a vast, creative, resourceful community. And the, the main thing they need is, is curation and uh, presence on all, the, uh, on all the app stores. Your headquarters is in uh, Tel Aviv? That's correct. And also your research and development? Yes, so uh, the headquarters is in Tel Aviv, and then our, the technology, the development uh, group, uh, or, or R&D, and also the, uh, our animation and post and VFX studio. And those two need to work very closely together. And we're very lucky to have a mix of some fantastic technology resource, for obviously which Israel is well known for, but also some very skilled and creative uh, animators. And those two work very closely together. And uh, do you see some, uh, some country who uh, take a, a leadership uh, on the market uh, worldwide? Or? Well, I think the, um, everyone says that uh, China is growing um, very strongly in, in VR. Uh, we are focused really on, um, I suppose, uh, US and, uh, and Europe in terms of our, our, our reach, but China is uh, one of the things that we're thinking about. And in terms of uh, augmented reality, um, how do you see uh, the future also for, for the magazine, for the, for the print? Is there a, a strong market with a, a mix print and ER? Uh, I'm, I'm, a big, uh, I'm a, a big believer in that. Um, I think that one of the challenges for um, physical media as opposed to digital has been the absence of a, a return path or a closed loop. And I think that um, augmented reality can add two amazing things to um, physical or print. First is the ability to bring it to life. And secondly is the ability for the users to interact and dig more and dig more and then cr create direct digital engagement. So effectively you make, um, you can make print interactive. And uh, I'd like uh, also to have your opinion about the mix with television. Uh, do you see uh, some application uh, with R and, and television? Yes, I th we see two, um, two applications for television. Um, one of the things I didn't mention when I talked about the company history was that one of our major investors is uh, RTL, the Bertelsmann Media Group, who also own Fremantle. And so I think for VR, we see some very significant applications for extending certain genres of TV and deepening the fans' experience of a show by being able to experience it in VR. And we think that's particularly true for reality shows and uh, maybe for, for, for soap operas, less so for drama. So the ability to experience the show as if you were the judge, as if you were the contestant, as if you were backstage, um, and feel like you're there is very powerful. That's the first thing. Secondly, from an augmented reality perspective, just like we talked about print being activated, we now think that you can, um, we're working on, in fact, uh, creating uh, augmented reality um, extensions or additions to, to TV adverts. So you could be seeing the product on screen, see the marker, and then be able to have play with that product or place it in your house, depending on, on what it is. And what will be your agenda for you and for the company for the next months? Um, continuing to progress on, uh, on all three areas, I think, uh, continuing to grow the, uh, the VR uh, application and start to develop some programming in some specific verticals, continuing to work with um, some great companies or pushing the boundaries of uh, VR and AR, 
and then thirdly is launching our um, our uh, first release of the uh, bringing books to life, which we hope to do in Q4 this year. Good. Thanks, Andrew. Mon plaisir. Merci bien.